can't reach that. I can't re- Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Why do I let him talk to me like that? Pinching. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. I need some help. Gotta find a book on mucus. If only there were a large library nearby. Just down my This is Uncle Chuck's Index Tron 3 This is Uncle Chuck's Index Tron Hmm It says there's a book on mucus here It's in section 3.1 Why not plush toys? I can't reach that. Why not plush toys? It says out of order. Sick of pillows. It's a bottle for printer ribbon ink, with black soot in it. This is depressing. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough. Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. Oh, they're lean. 
You're so soft and fluffy. I can't reach. It's a defunct robot prototype. It's a red gel decoder. It's a red gel decoder. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. My personal information has been entered. Just have to answer the hard mucus questions. There are a couple of old batteries. I think I see mold growing on one. I can't use the bottle with that. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. It's a defunct robot prototype. Uncle Chuck never makes his... It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. Oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. How many times have I told you not to touch my things? It's turned on. It's turned on. Dolores, you know I can't work in the dark. Please turn the lights back on. After you've taken over the pillow factory, you can turn off the lights all you like. Dolores, my dear, don't touch the painting. You'll get access to it and what's behind it after you've taken over the pillow factory. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. Oh, Dolores, 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 how many times have I told you not to touch my things? But as soon as you've taken over the pillow factory, they're all yours. Feeling my way along. Just have to keep going. Just down the
It says, out of order. I should stick up for myself. I'd better hold on to this. The label says it's called Cat 509 Tales, produced by getdigital.eu. I don't want to whip anything with this. This was Uncle Chuck's. I don't want to give it away. Terrible argument. I'd better hold on to this. I'd better hold on to this. I'd better hold on to this. Why not plush toys? It doesn't work in that. Oh, they're lean. You're so soft and fluffy. It doesn't work in that. Still impressive. The sign says it's out of order. Still impressive. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. <sighs> Better not. That might start a fire. Impressive. I, I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. I don't want to open it. I can't pull that. I can't push that. I don't want to pick that up. It's already closed. I can't use the bottle with that. Better not. That might start a fire. Ugh, I'm definitely not hungry for soggy lettuce. I don't think they're good for anything, except growing mold. I don't feel like the taste for non-train bark infringing poopsie now. It's a microwave oven. This isn't a water-based ink. Not with that smell. And I wouldn't want to print something that could wash away. My personal information has been entered. Just have to answer the hard mucus questions. Oh, better be careful. These bottles are sharp. Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside.
The fireplace is very sooty and filled with ash. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. I already have a handful of soot. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. That would just make a mess. That's a bottle for printer ribbon ink with black soot in it. That would just make a sludgy mess. That would just make a mess. That would just make a mess. That would make a black sticky mess. If only I had something small to mix it in. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. It's a full bottle of homemade printer ink, made by me. I don't want to waste it on that. That would make a black sticky mess. If only I had something small to mix it in. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. I need some help. Gotta find a book on mucus. If only there were a large library nearby. Graphics Basic, an enhanced basic. Unlock the full potential of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Now beginning programmers can create complex graphics, animation, and music without being a machine language programming expert. Sounds perfect. It's Graphics Basic, the Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language. Unlock the full potential of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Now beginning programmers can create complex graphics, animation, and music without being a machine language programming expert. Sounds perfect. It's my handy ASCII chart. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need- I don't want to pick that up. These are part of my action figure collection. I need some help. Gotta find a book on mucus. If only- Where am I? The ink bottle is now mostly full with gas. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. I don't want to waste it on that. 
It's a glass filled with water. It's Uncle Chuck's check register. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy about his business affairs. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. My dear Dolores... Better be careful. These bottles are sharp. This was Uncle Chuck's. I don't want to give it away. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm... I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the Pillow Factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the Pillow Factory and restore the family heritage. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? I'll deal with it later. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? I'll deal with it later. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. No one in this town but me appreciates the genius of this software. I don't think this will help me get the job. Just... This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 Library- Hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. The, si the sign says it's out of order. It doesn't work in that. Still impressive. It doesn't work in that. 
No one will miss this out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. I shouldn't take this out of the library. It says, out of order. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many room local variables are there? Next question, what are room backgrounds compressed into? Next question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to study the mucus phlegm programming book some... Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many room local variables are there? Next question, what are room backgrounds compressed into? Next question, variables can be modified while debugging your program. Next question, what type of files are compiled scripts packed into? Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. It doesn't work in that. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it. If the it's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. Just down the hall.
It's a glass filled with water. I don't want to waste it on that. George the postman will never pick it up without stamps on it. The envelope is addressed, just needs a stamp. I can't use that in the Printron 3000. I don't think this will help me get the job. I can't reach that. I can't use my application with that. It's a glass filled with water. It's Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are? Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language. Unlock the full potential of your computer with over 100 additional English language commands. Now beginning programmers can create complex graphics, animation, and music without being a machine language programming expert. Sounds perfect. While Graphics Basic is pretty amazing, I can't use it in that. While Graphics Basic is pretty amazing, I can't use it in that. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. I have to find a safe way to remove the stamps. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. It's my job application in mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. Look, Uncle Chuck, your favorite. A freshly baked thimbleberry pie from the pie shop. Why, thank you, Dolores. You know me and my love for thimbleberry pie well. I'll eat this as soon as I finish this little project. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. Still impressive. Still impressive. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested.
It's my job application. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get it. My job application of mucus phlegm is folded into an envelope. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. Hope I get I can't pick up something I already have. I can't open it more than it already is. Stay safe, my mucus phlegm application. Ready? My job application of mucus phlegm is full. Stay safe, my mucus phlegm application. Ready to go. Except for postage. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, if the envelope is ripped. It doesn't work in that. It doesn't work in that. It doesn't work in that. That will just make the letter soggy. I can't open that. That doesn't seem to close. I can't pull that. I can't push that. Still impressive. Dolores. There are a couple of old batteries. I think I see. Dolores, I'm busy working on my masterpiece. Don't touch. You can program him after you've taken over at the pillow factory. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. Oh, Dolores, oh, Dolores, Dolores. It doesn't work in that. Better not. That might start a fire. That doesn't seem to work. I'm not giving this away. Just down the hall is just I'm at I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. I can't reach that. I know I have a good idea. No one in this town but me appreciates the genius of this software. I better hold on to this. I better hold on to this. It's a wilting head of lettuce. Chuck is such a bully.
I know. The application is all filled out. Just have to send it in. It's Graphics Basic, the powerful programming language from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron. G the application is all filled out. Just have to send it in. Sick of pillows. That doesn't seem to work. Ouch! The letter's hot, but I need steam to get the stamps off. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. How exciting! I hope I get the job! Hiya, Dolores! I have a letter for you! Oh! Good luck! See ya! I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news.
Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad, stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck? Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be a... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp part from a cut room. It's out of order. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. It needs a dime to work. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. <laughs> I should have expected, Reno, it was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Bad news, Sheriff. There are no donut arenos down here. This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office of Reno before you get hurt. There is a killer on the loose. Yeah, I'll run that up the home office of Reno flagpole. In the meantime, can you get me out of here? Sure, just follow me. No, oh, I will need to blindfold you. Nothing about this town surprises me anymore.
Oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. Here's your WC-672. Thank you. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Page and Brothers Plumbing, Electrical and Paranormal Investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Thanks for the dust. It's my specks of dust. It's a color copy from 3000. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. I guess nothing gets by the press. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement, you get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mmm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Ugh, you... If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the 23rd Amendment? Nope. That grants the District of Columbia electors in the Electoral College. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Intriguing. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Agricultural investment? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think 
He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there, the Copytron 3000. Then, Tell me more. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blamed the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. What do you know about the pillow factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence, and I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. What do you know about the Pillow Factory fires? I have my suspicions of a big cover-up arena, if you know what I mean. I've tried to gather evidence, but I've been blocked at every turn. It's a small town, so I have to watch the feathers I ruffle. Don't you mean the Tenth Amendment? Nope. That reinforces the principle of federalism by stating that the federal government possesses only those powers delegated to it by the states or the people through the Constitution. Don't you mean the Eighth Amendment? Nope. That prohibits excessive fines and excessive bail, as well as cruel and unusual punishment. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. It's a map of the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please, don't touch. I know it's beautiful, but you can't remove it. I don't want to open it. Stupendous Brothers Traveling Circus. Headline act, Ransom the Insult Clown. Minors must be accompanied by an adult, and if you're offended, it's your own beeping fault. <laughs> 